So today we're going to go to Clackbane Farm. Which is just off Beckwith's Mine. Or Beckwith's Mines. It's now owned by the government. Come on, Penny, you can do it. Come on, Penny. Here. Hup. Got our faithful hounds with us, as usual. We just get one needy one, don't we? My three girls together. What did you say? Three bitches? Um, no, I didn't actually say that. You're the bitch today. You're in a big, big, big bitch mood. I'm in a real bitch mood today. Yeah. I like this thing. It looks like a well, doesn't it? It must be a well, is it? No, it's a mine shaft. Oh, I like it as a well. So, though, though we're going through Beckwith's mines, we're not going to discuss Beckwith's mines today. We're going to go forward and further. Da, da, da. <coughs> to, your, to your left, Carla, the track. The road oh. is just here. Oh, there it is. Got my big girl boots on today. She's got her rigger boots on. Hey, and guess what? what? Wait, stop. See how they come in handy. It's like a handbag as well. Oh. <laughs> is that toilet paper for later? It's your notes, my dear. Oh. That's what you'd be doing with my notes, because you can't read the bleeding writing. Yeah, I might as well use it as toilet paper. I could put my phone in the other one. You were there for a spare pair of knickers too, if you were pushed. Put me buddies and everything at these. Mm. Great. We were having good have buddies today, but we didn't. Egg mayonnaise, press. Pack of chicken crisps, a cup of tea. We did have the butties, but I had to work this morning, so we you, cut you it short and had them at home before coming out. You had to do what, love? I, I guess I had to work. <laughs> well, life's a bitch, isn't it? You're about trying to make out that I don't feed you on these things. Oh, I'm starving. I've had no food. Belly's, Help me. Belly's touching me backbone again. <laughs> I don't think that's ever happened for you, has it really? <laughs> Get lost. Anyway, we're going to go to Clackbane. It's just over the hill. As Carla says, it's just up here. It's not far now. Yeah, I can see it. It's over there. It means nothing. About a mile away. Maybe. That's a mile. I like all these farms around here. They were bought out of private ownership in 1932 mm -hmm. by the Peel Water Company. And as I've already said in another video, they plan to turn this area into the new reservoir mm -hmm. by damming up Glen May River. So a company was formed to do it. Oh. What are you doing, you... Okay. And um, when they did take the places over, they bought Thalu Quane, it's across the valley, it's another video I've done, and Karen's farm. Oh God. Like this. What the hell am I going to do? 
Oh, darling. <laughs> you want to get yourself some of these rigger boots? <laughs> oh. Come on, us girls can do it. Leave him behind. You only want to see me fall on my ass. I, I do. I hate anything like that do to happen you to you. Do you buggery? <laughs> Give you giving nothing, give you more delight than me falling on my ass. Oh, baby girl. <laughs> See, this is like, now I'm having fun. Bitch. As you can see, folks, it's a uh, slightly wet path. And today is the uh, 9th of May. 2023. I'll just go through it then. Oh, wait for me. <laughs> and Carla has bravely decided to walk through all the mud. Ah, what a hero. What's the expression? Been sucked off. <laughs> boots, I mean, Carla, your boots. I don't know where you get that language from, Ray. I'll tell you what. Aren't you supposed to be a gentleman? I know exactly where I got oh, the language God. from. Oh, God. Ray, this is a crap idea. Have you seen it? What? Look, it's even worse. <laughs> well, yes, you wanted to go this way. Uh, I do believe that you said... You said, I want to avoid that big fence, you said to me. <sighs> so, like, this is fine here. Just walk over it. I'm just worried that, you know, there might just be a big hole that I end up going down. Just save the camera, don't worry about yourself. Yeah, yeah. You'll you go heal. straight through that or I'm pushing you in it. It can't be that deep, Roxy's in it. Yeah, but I have to go. Oh. It's over my bleeding boots. Shit. We're not coming back this way, I'm telling you now. Why aren't we? Oh, that's funny. If this was our first day out, this time last year, I'd have hung up my shoes and went, nah, forget it, Ray. No, you wouldn't. He's a, got... nutter, he's a nut, that, he's a nut of that Kelly guy. Woo! You've got more balls than that. Hey, I tell you what, I'm not cold. Take your coat off here and leave it over the tree we become... Oh, no, oh I'll just take my coat off, hold the camera, steady my feet, and not lose my rag. I was going to wear my trainers as well. Well, that would have been really silly. It would have been bloody stupid, wouldn't it? Oh, that's better. You take the camera now. See now what I have to put up with? <laughs> and you say, are you ready yet? Where does the uh, oil come from? What? No, it's got a shiny bit in the water. It's like petrol or something. Um, I don't know where it would be really. Yeah. Oh, God. Well, a little anecdote I heard about Beckworth's mine. Uh -huh. It was started in the 1830s. That was why I thought it called Beckwith. And it all came about because one of the farmers down here was going through the heather with a, co with a cart, a horse and cart. And uh, when he got home, there was a big lump of rock stuck in the wheel of the spokes of his cart. Yeah. So when he hammered it out, it was pure lead. Oh, right. So that's wow. how we decided they were going to do the mining down round here. So that's where we're heading. It's our destination right there. And we're down the valley there. It's Glen May. So it would have made a pretty good uh, place to build a reservoir. Could be in that gorge down the bottom there, wouldn't it? Mm. <sighs> okay. There's Dalu Quain over there, just in the distance. Don't know if you can get that. Oh yeah, just up on the, on the yeah. just in the trees there. That's another one. As I say, was part of this group. And that house has been demolished because that's the barn because there's an old mill in it. So there used to be a house there? Yeah. 
So that's that story about flashing the lights across the valley. Yeah. Isn't it? Is it from Thalo Crane to Karen's yeah. farm? Yeah. Yeah, because I was going to say, you wouldn't see it in this one. But the guy also said that this fella here, what was his name? Clark, the butcher. Yeah. He had the same system in place for his place here. You're too soft on her. She's an old girl. Yeah, well, I don't do that to you. I think it will do if you had your choice. Not yet. Uh, we're not going that way because there's sheep there. Let's go this way. Roxy! Roxy! Settle down. Come on. Penny! I think they'll end up with ticks. Maybe. Hey? Maybe. Yeah, because I've read something on Facebook that someone went for a walk somewhere and they'd, each dog came back with about 20 ticks. Oh, I've got a thing to take them out. Have you got one? No. Oh, shite. I need to go up there. I need to get them water wheels going again. Dry out this land. <laughs> yeah, it's difficult to believe um, when, they, when Karen's bought this lot. It was 350 acres altogether. See, I've only ever seen it from going, when we came from Karen's farm, we walked just in front of this. Never went up here. Didn't you? No. Well, that, the road we walked along, that's the road into it. Yeah. And obviously it came down here, as you rightly said, and through this gateway. Oh, pega trees, loads of washing out here. I wonder how wet there is in there. It's not looking dry like, is it? No. Shall I go first? Yeah, you go first. Go down there. Oh. There's, so don't go that way. Hi, we can go here, can't we? Gosh, it's very wet, isn't it? Well, it's been a wet year, as I say, isn't it? I didn't look up what clack bane meant. Should we go this way? Yeah. Lots of ways of spelling it. C-L-A-U-G-H-B-A-N-E. Same thing with the space between clock and bane or C-L-A-G-H-B-A-N-E. years since I've been up here. Used to be a young one. So you're about 30? Uh, I would have been, yes. Your maths are getting better, aren't they? In your prime. Hey? In your prime. <laughs> How old would you have been, love? <laughs> 60? Mind your old bloody business. <laughs> so judging by the slates and stuff that's down here, the house would have been around here somewhere. I've never seen this. I don't know. You tell me you've been here. Yeah, but look, whoosh. I'd only seen that hut there. I didn't look at it. I don't remember looking at any of this. Oh. oh. Once again, you know how to impress me. I'm going to take my coat off. I'm getting a bit sweaty. Oh. My coat here. Slow down, girl. Oh, you can bounce me. So we've got some lovely little um, knickknacks to look at down here. Whatever they were, a big nest box of some sort. Some people would say geese. Some people say bees. Could even be for pigs. And to the left of us here was where the house was, I'm guessing. Still could be a house, that could be just a, 
I think that may have been the toilet. Get lost. Look oh. at the height of it. Unless yeah, it's, it's all in. filled in. It's not. I think so. It's got a roof over it. It looks like a well to me. It's filled in. Oh, yeah. Maybe it's it is the well. steps that go down. Oh, yeah. You could That's be right. It's not a toilet, that. It could be a well, actually. Yeah. Well spotted, my girl. Seeing these two heads. One brain. <laughs> yeah, who's got it today, folks? Who's got it today? <laughs> and there's um, more of these little bo knock, little um, holes along here as well. Definitely nest boxes. What are you doing? It's a frog. <laughs> it leaped and made me jump there, look. And, uh, did I touch it? To cap it all today, we found a frog. God, that's two things that jumped out of me and now I've got the heebie-jeebies. Yeah, well, I'll do it next time, you'll be okay. <laughs> I'm just getting my microphone. You plonker. <laughs> Yeah, well, are. we can't all be fabulous. Well, don't worry, you're saying to me, oh, it's my mic that's not working today. <laughs> you can forget well, that one. Well, luckily, you've been able to dub out my screaming and moaning. Oh, no, that's well documented. Well, unless you were close to me, you won't be able to hear it, so. What? There. Fireplace, lovely, isn't so it? So this was the fire, this was the house. So this is, we're actually on top of the chiller here. Yep. Oh, look at the garden, it's so well kept. Oh, sheep are brilliant, aren't they? And we, um, what's the word looking for? Don't know. Muse over the fact that on right beside the house here is one of the loveliest little walled gardens in the Isle of Man that you're ever going to see. <coughs> oh, the frog's gone. <coughs> not many people, not many farmers have spent that money and effort to build a walled garden, so perhaps it was done to supply vegetables to the um, mines, which is just over in the distance there. Thorn trees hanging here, washing on. The well, we, we assume, the nesting box is well set up in the place. If that is a well over there, it's actually quite well organised, really, isn't it? Well, I think so. Yeah. We'll have to look for the uh, Taive, because that's definitely not it. Woo! Yeah, the chuff. Yeah. It's very neat brickwork. I wonder what that was. <coughs> so there you get a, an idea where the house would have been overlooking this garden. Lovely south facing aspect. Some of these big stones have got like stony mountain stones quarried. Such a beautifully laid wall, made wall, isn't it? Still here, still standing. As I said, it's mentioned from 1820 and I imagine this would have been here not long after that. Could be a pen, I suppose. What would I know, huh? You begin to see things my way now, my girl. Oh, look at that wall. 
That's lovely. I think that may have been a piggery. Yeah. With the, the wall there to go to, to let the pigs go in and out. So there's another front bit here, look. <clears throat> Brickwork as well added to it. Hey. Brickwork added to it as well. Hey, you see this bit? That's a squared garden wall. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Yeah. <coughs> Here's another part of it, another little garden it looks like. Yeah, with the wall right round it would have been too. Didn't have the um the horse things up here, did they? Didn't find one. This is an earlier walled garden because there's no cement in this. Uh. So this would have been before the other one was done. Hello, my love. Hello, sweetness. <laughs> the people will guess we're a couple if you keep going on like that. Hmm. Well, often she's quiet, folks. <laughs> Make the most of it. I can't get a word in with you. <laughs> I reckon that would have been a buyer, the one you're looking into. Yeah. And then there's one here with a roof still on it. <clears throat> or a bit of a roof anyway. I swear to God. Don't nothing jump out on me, please. Oh, that's very wet. Just like home, this. Lovely. Roxy, it's not really drinking, is it? I've found a nice car for you. Have you? Goes, goes better than yours. Probably one I sold. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Check the number plate out. You'd be pleased. Lovely. You getting in the car? What's that say? Kales? Cakes? Yeah, it's a bakery van, isn't it? Is it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think this is described as needing um, a bit of work doing to it. So that there road will go out to the other part of the fields. Yeah, that's the way we came in. <clears throat> Can't believe you missed all this. Yeah, there's more over there, look. That's the chapel. Is it? Yep. Wow. So in the distance there, yeah, that's the chapel. Balavelle Chapel. Last used in 1930. Used to hold 80 or 90 people. Huh. God, so many chapels and Places of worship here, really. Oh, a bunch of Donkey pagans, shoes. bunch of pagans. Oh. And up there in the trees just above there is the uh, uh, Karen's farm or Glen Ocean farm as it was known originally. Yeah, that's the other side of them trees. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. It happened to be because you can see that Salton over there. Yeah. And you'd, uh, you'd see this house too. Because oh. he said, he, the guy said he came down the, down across the river to the house. So yeah, they'd gone straight up that way. Yeah. Huh. Old age is a bugger, folks. I used to be able to remember everything I can't anymore, so I've had to write it down. My apologies to you. Uh, I don't know a lot about it, to be honest with you. It's not an awful lot on the web or in the museum. And I couldn't find any pictures of it before it was demolished, which is a shame. But we get a good idea from what we've walked around and seen. Like we think we found the well, more than likely it is the well. And the uh, nesting boxes, the pega trees, as Carla calls them. Why are they pega trees, Carla? Because you hang out your washing on them. 
you know, actually hawthorns. So instead of using pegs, you're using thorns. So it's like a peg a tree, isn't it? Mm. She picks things up quick, to be fair. Are you being sarcastic? <laughs> <laughs> you're going to get smacked. Anyway, 1906, this place was lived in by a guy called Robert Clark, who was a butcher. And um, I was always told that um, the people who lived with Hello Queen, the Karens, actually uh, used to watch for the lights across the valley in Fallow Quain, but um, since Founders Morning they also mentioned this place as having a light in the window as well, so maybe they had them both. Anyway, on the assumption that they did have one down here as well, Mr. Karen came down here because the light was out, and um, when he walked up the yard after crossing the river and, in, and down the road, and it was really, really quiet. It was quite strange because the utensils were all on the table and food was in the cupboard. It was just very, very quiet. And as he turned around to go back outside to look, to see if he could find out where he was or what was happening, he spotted the note on the table and it just said, gone to America. And funny enough, on the same day, the same time, and Mrs. Corrin from Peel and her two kids had gone off to Ohio the same day and the room in the middle of the Alaman suggested that perhaps they eloped together. Be a nice idea, wouldn't it? I'm guessing most people did the, the light thing, you know, keep your light going and then if one goes out, we'll come check on, check on you. Didn't need no telephones. And I was just going to say, we need to do that now and put our phones down. It's free. Yeah. Free. Mine never goes off unless you message me, which is very rare. Focus on the phone to you. Such a needy individual. Um, what else can we tell you about it? In 1820, Joseph Folder was the owner. And um, it then became part of the Karen's farm estate. In 1871, the whole estate was put for sale. 350 acres, which is these three places. And they would all have houses on them those days and good buildings, because there's a fair range of buildings in this place, although a lot's been knocked down. There is a good range and nicely situated facing into the sun, so it would be a pretty spot. Anyway, there's 350 acres. And in 1871, they bought it for 230 quid, the Karen family. 230 quid. Not bad, eh? It's going to cost us that to go on the boat. Mm, more than that now. Mm. Hmm. Karen's had eight, qu eight kids up here, and they lived up in um, <coughs> Karen's farm, obviously, or Glen Russian farm. And uh, Thomas inherited the farm on, on his parents' de death, the whole acreage. And in 1932, the Peel Water Company bought the whole lot. It's the idea of turning the um, a reservoir down the Glen May Valley, because of its steep sides. Hmm. And I imagine that's why the houses have been erased or demolished. Because you go up to Karen's farm, up there, all the big stones have been taken over the side of the house. Mm. Again, so you couldn't live in it. Such a shame. In fact, that Karen's farm is the one that's got the horse mill. Yeah. Isn't it? Well, it's funny, that's got a horse mill. And Tallow Queen's got a horse mill. Yeah, but this one hasn't. This one hasn't. Mm. So I assume that these two tools or the two farms must have been bigger. I find this one quite big, to be fair. Well, if you look around, I mean, there's hedges right up to the road that comes across from um, the round table. Mm. So they would have been fields, <coughs> farmed as fields Oi. at one time. Mm. So, Ellie, what do you think about your day out here? Well, <coughs> luckily I forgot to keep my microphone on when I was frightened by the pheasant and then the frog. Such a bit of screaming. Oh, you're messing with me. Didn't expect that. No, you did, this laugh. Anyway. Well, it was a nervous laugh. I was worried. Yeah. I just covered it up better than you do. Mm. I'm just so surprised I didn't see this all them years ago when I walked. We just literally walked through this way, went that way. And I'm sure Baz was saying to me, oh, look, the farmhouse there. And, but I just, I never looked. Oh. And I don't know why, because I was so into Fulton's anyway all them years ago. I've always said to you, no matter how many times you visit these places, you still find something find again something when you go else. back. Like we found an old, looks like a Morris Thousand van up there, and it says cakes on it, so we're, we're assuming it must have been a baker's van mm. of some sort.
It would have been lovely to have lived here in, in the summertime. Yeah, I don't think the winter would have been great. But no, I don't think so. I mean, it's just like at your place, though, isn't it? You yeah. Know, it's gorgeous in the summer, but when just you're in the winter on the top of a hill... For those two days. Yeah, those two days of the year are just magical. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> and if you're coming out to here, it is... Um, I'm not sure what's called Ramblage. It is owned by the government, but it's farmed by, obviously, a local farmer. So our dogs hate sheep. It's never bothered with them. But there's no, there's only one sheep I saw today, so it's not so bad. But just be aware that there are sheep here. It is very muddy. Um, and it will always be muddy, I think, to get to it. And if you're coming along to it, before you get here, there's another little ruin on the hillside. This is called the Promised Land. And... Um, the people who used to farm Glenmore and Ronick used to fetch their sheep over the round table to here every year to graze. And that's why it was called the Promised Land. It wasn't because it was a religious, it was just promised to them for their mm. sheep. But you can see, if you look up there, see those fields? Mm. They're right up to, right up to that road nearly. Mm -hmm. And uh, they would have belonged to Sally Quain, ah, Karen's farm. Mm -hmm. And in behind us, on the hillside there is Beckwith's Mines. We're going to do that one day, but not today because there's a lot of information that needs to be gathered for that one. And we'll go around and do that because it's got lots to offer. It's nice to get out about again it's after been, doing the lambing. It's been a bit of a sentence really, wasn't it? Mm. We definitely, when we do the next one, we're definitely taking buddies. Well, we definitely have to have I do like to celebrate and chill out but with But you the see, buddy. you didn't get up till half twelve today, so... Get lost. I was up you know, early, called lost, into work. Lost the day, you see. Who did to you save the day. I'm some hero. <laughs> I'd like to see you make the food I make. Well, I think, folks, there's enough of our inane chatter. We'll cobble something together so we can actually have a view of it. But again, we're out today, there's just the two of us. There's not a sound anywhere, just the birds and some sheep. It is great. It's just lovely. Mm. How lucky are we? How lucky are we? You haven't given me my May kiss yet. Oh, come get it, it's in my bag. Is it? <laughs> Thank you, my girl. Oh, it's checking you out. You still got it then? What? I don't know, don't give it me. <laughs> ah, it's in my pocket. 